Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. Uh, I wanted to do a quick get to know me video here on my channel with all of these new subscribers that have joined in and I guess, I guess we're gonna see how I can ramble my way through this. Okay, number one, I am Lindsay, as you can tell by the title of my channel here. And I am a low carb ketovore. I have been married to my husband for the past 15 and a half years. We have three children, um, an 11 year old, eight year old and four year old daughter. Well, they're all girls. Um, and we are a homeschooling family. My husband is a pilot. We met in college in Oklahoma in the aviation department. I went to school to be a, um, or for an aviation management degree and yeah, that's sort of like the rundown. We have lived a lot of different places. Um, I was born and raised in Texas. We met in college in Oklahoma, like I said. We lived there after we got married for a little bit. We moved to Ohio. We moved to Pennsylvania, where his family is. We moved to Oregon. We moved back to Pennsylvania, down to Arizona for a while, up to Wyoming. Hands down, love Wyoming, definitely definitely one of my favorite states. Then we went to Utah for a while, we went up to Alaska for a while, and then over to Wisconsin where we were the longest, and now we are here in central Ohio, which kind of makes it, <laughs> excuse me, feel a little bit full circle. Um, what else? So my channel largely focuses on health and wellness and my quest to find that for myself. Um, I tend to do a lot of recipe videos and I kind of have one of those reverse engineer kind of minds. I see something and I think I want to try to do that for myself from scratch. And a lot of my recipes might seem a little bit, uh, what's the word? I don't know complicated, I guess, or more work than necessary. Um, I don't tend to want to find items on the shelf, buy them, and then use them. I would rather buy ingredients and be able to be free to make it however I want, adjust things as I want. I do tend to cook more in a, um, in a spur of the moment kind of a way rather than a find the exact recipe, follow the exact recipe every single time and be consistent. I do struggle with that much. Um, what else? So oftentimes I tend to do things a little bit in a more complicated way than most people would. A lot of the things I do require more um, time and energy and steps than most people would generally like. And I think the um, the reason just because that's just the way my brain works. I just would rather figure it out for myself instead of buying pre-made, pre-packaged things. I do find that those things are helpful and useful at times, but that's not my my norm as far as how I generally operate in my kitchen. Uh, speaking of food and things, I am a ketovore. I have a low carb, high protein, moderate fat way of eating. And I've been doing that since 2018. Before that, I did Trim Healthy Mama for a while when I was pregnant with our third and nursing our third. And before that, I had been keto for a while. My initial start back in 2016 was Trim Healthy Mama. And actually before that, I had been working through Weston A. Price Foundation, nourishing traditions type um, way of eating. And before 2012, I was just eating a regular old standard American diet, highly addicted to sugar, lots of inflammation, lots of weight retention, uh, leth lethargy, um, what else? What else? Just water retention, all kinds of things. And ever since finding the Weston A. Price Foundation, which then kind of scooted me all the way to Trim Healthy Mama and then finally Keto slash Keto Vore, I have made such a dramatic improvement in my in the my disposition, in the way that I approach the world, in how I feel every day. I am the person who bounds out of bed every morning, much to my husband's chagrin. <laughs> He's always very confused, like, how do you just roll out of bed like that? Just get out. And I'm like, well, I don't know. I just can't stand to lay down in the bed for too long. So um, all of that is kind of like a a super fast history of the way I've been eating for the past, gosh, it's 20, it's 2021. So for the past nine plus years, um, what 
else. I do like to do the recipe videos. I do like to share what I eat in a day videos. I am a homeschooling mom, like I said, I think in the beginning, and a lot of my attention and time is focused here at my home with taking care of school lessons and our children and um, managing the household at large. And um, so I'm not able to do a consistent video schedule all the time. I have tons of ideas that just sometimes wind up on a list to be visited at another time until I forget that the list exists and then just go go off of whatever my brain comes up with that time. I don't have a lot of time to like edit videos and produce videos. We also like to keep our children out of the videos, so I don't tend to film whenever they are either like around or awake and um and that's just sort of like a, a choice that my husband and I have made. Um, what else? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Are there questions that you have for me that, um, that this discussion has spurned on? I would love, love, love for you to comment down below. I do struggle to get back to comments in a timely manner. I usually try to do it within a week, but sometimes my, uh, my brain doesn't quite get there <laughs> or the timing doesn't quite get there. So um, I would love to have your questions in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to them if there are enough questions for me to do a, an actual Q&A instead of just to get to know me. I would love to do that for you and I think that's all I've got for you today. If you are a first time viewer, I would love for you to subscribe if you are so inclined. I'm really big on personal choice, so if you don't feel like it, please don't do it. If you wanna give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I would also appreciate that. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much. If there's other details that I've shared in the past that you're like, hey, you mentioned this thing in the past, what is, what's, what's the deal with that? Leave that comment down below too. So I will talk to you in my next video.